Hi everyone, Jason Semenik, Senior Lead Marketing Strategist at Tegrita here. We often work with clients on their content strategy, and a big part of that conversation is often used to discuss, discuss testing strategy. We all know the best way to optimize your emails is to test, commonly referred to as A-B testing or multivariate testing. The biggest question I get after what can we test is usually how do we do it? If you're using Oracle Eloqua and are ready to start testing emails, I put together this short video to show you a few ways you can get tests running in Eloqua. If you have a basic A-B test you'd like to run, Eloqua's Create a Simple Email Campaign option is a great choice. You can find it from the campaign homepage, as you see on screen here, and it's this second tab in called um, Create a, a Simple Email Campaign. Clicking it will take that will walk you through the steps. It allows you to specify your audience. Um, sorry, you to click over to A-B test. You specify your audience for the segments, select your different emails, um, and then you can also select the testing parameters, including how many are part of your control group, how many are part of your test, um, deciding the winning metrics, setting an end date and time, um, and then even choosing if you want to send the winning version automatically to the holdout group. So pretty straightforward. Um, but what if you want to do something a little bit more complex? Um, it takes a bit more work in Eloqua, but you can still really put Eloqua to work for you. So here's a quick primer. I'm running an ABCD test in Oracle Eloqua. All right, let's get into a campaign canvas showing an example of a multi-step campaign that tests four versions. So here we go. It's a little bit more complex um, than, than the A-B tester. Um, and so in this particular example, your test is a straight four-way split of the recipients with all of your contacts flowing into one of your four versions that you're testing. Um, you can then evaluate the winner at the end of the campaign by looking at the campaign reporting tab. So I'm um, taking a look at the, the campaign canvas here. Very straightforward, really, when you get into it. Segment members, who people who are eligible to receive this email. And then you've got a series of four uh, decision steps where you're checking a shared filter to see if the person coming in via the segment is eligible to receive that version. I'll go into more detail on this later. Let's continue through the steps here. So basically we check is the person eligible to receive version A? Uh, if yes, it flows to a wait step and then to an actual email send of version A. If they don't match an, on this particular shared filter, if they're not a member of the shared filter, it will flow down the no path into the next check. Are they eligible for version B? And so on down the line. With each yes response coming to a wait time that would or a wait step that would be set to match for all four versions. Uh, and then the actual email sends one per email version. As a safety step here, you'll just see at the end of this campaign, uh, or at the end of this last filter here, I've got um, an error step for anybody who didn't match one of the four filters flows out. And that shouldn't happen in this particular case, because as we said, it's all four, um, all just straight four way split. So what if you want to have, have test and control groups with the ability to send the winning version to a control group? Well, a bit more work needs to be done. Here's the modified canvas. Uh, we'll just flip over here. Perfect. So you'll see here that we've added a few steps to the end of the original campaign. All of this first section is the same. And we've added a wait step and then sending an email of the winning version. Uh, it's important to note here that this wait step here, uh, sorry, this wait step here should be beyond the evaluation date. So whenever date or time you're choosing your winner, this wait step needs to be beyond that so that these people don't flow down the path and get stuck. So then there's a few ways to actually deal with um, getting that final version, winning version out. You could pause the campaign and add the winning email as the last step here. So this whole send the winning version would be replaced with the version that wins. Let's say it's version version C. But there are risks with pausing and reactivating campaigns. And so you may want to be um, safe and instead 
add a shell email into this step here when you activate it. So it's basically your template. Um, and then once you've chosen the winner, you would go in and edit this email and rebuild the winning email. Um, and so it would be copying that from the test version that, that actually won. A little bit more work, as I said, but it might be more within your comfort zone. Um, last thing to discuss is how do you split this list? So how do you get these magic filters here? So there's a couple of ways you could do this. Uh, one is by exporting your segment. So build your segment, export it out of uh, Eloqua, and then go through the process of manually flagging your recipient group. So you could create a new field called test uh, version and um, have it be populated with A, B, C, D in some random method. Um, and then re-import that list into Tegrid or into Eloqua, uh, and you'll be able to then create these filters based on that field. Um, alternatively, you could get creative with the data you already have. So, for example, you could look at people whose last names begin with um, a particular letter of the alphabet. So here's a shared filter builder, and I've just added compare contact fields. And so I'm saying, um, in this case, particular, um, it's email address field. And so if your email address starts with an A or a B or a C, so you could have version one gets letters A through G, for example, and then version two would get uh, H through J, um, and then et cetera, et cetera. You'll have to play around with it to get matching sample sizes for each of the versions, but I think you get the picture here. The third way that you can get your contacts to be split out is to use a special Tegrita cloud app. Tegrita has developed a randomizer cloud app that can be used as a decision step on an Eloqua campaign or program canvas. So it acts to send a specified percentage of the contacts down the yes path and the remainder down the no path. Um, you'll need to talk to your Tegra to contact to make sure that your instance has been granted access to the app and they'll provide you with an installation URL. Uh, you install it and then it will appear here under campaign steps. So you can use the drop down menu here and you'll see that in the decisions section, you now have access to the randomized contact step. When you pull that onto your campaign canvas, you can configure the step by double clicking like normal and click the pencil to specify the percentage of contacts that will flow down the yes path. Uh, click save and then the remainder will flow down the no path where you can have another randomizer step. Just keep in mind that you'll keep need to keep on incrementing the percentages to get the same number of contacts to flow down each step. And so now you've only got 90% of your contacts, so you need to do an 11% cut of your 90%, and that will give you the same number as your original 10%, etc, etc, et and down the line. And that's probably your easiest way to take advantage of, of A-B testing using the Tegra to Randomizer cloud app. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or if you want to get started with your own ABCD test within Oracle Eloqua. Tegrita can help. Thanks for watching.